question is on a topic that got a lot of response from YouTube viewers. Let's watch. Hi, my name is Mary. My name is Jen. And we're from Brooklyn, New York. If you were elected president of the United States, would you allow us to be married to each other? Congressman Kucinich. Barry and Jen, the answer to your question is yes. And let me tell you why. Because, because if our Constitution really means what it says, that all are created equal, if it really means what it says, that there should be equality of opportunity before the law, then our brothers and sisters who happen to be gay, lesbian, bisexual, or transgendered should have the same rights accorded to them as anyone else, and that includes the ability to have a civil marriage ceremony. Yes, I support you, and welcome to a better and a new America under a President and Senate administration. Senator Dodd, you supported the Defense of Marriage Act. What's your position? I made the case, uh, uh, Anderson, that I've, uh, my wife and I have two young daughters. Five and two. I simply asked the audience to ask themselves the question that Jackie and I have asked. How would I want my two daughters treated if they grew up and had a different sexual orientation than their parents? Good jobs, equal opportunity to be able to retire, to visit each other, to be with each other, as other people do. So I feel very strongly, if you ask yourself the question, how would you like your children treated if they had a different sexual orientation than their parents, the answer is yes. They ought to have that ability in civil unions. I don't go so far as to call for marriage. I believe marriage is between a man and a woman. But my state of Connecticut, the state of New Hampshire, have endorsed civil right. unions. I strongly support that, but I don't go so far as marriage. Governor Richardson? Well, I would say to the two young women, I would level with you. I would do what is achievable. What I think is achievable is full civil unions with full marriage rights. I would also press for you a hate crimes act in the Congress. I would eliminate don't ask, don't tell in the military. If we're going to have in our military men and women that die for this country, we shouldn't give them a lecture on their sexual orientation. I would push for domestic partnership laws, non-discrimination in insurance and housing. I would also okay. send a very strong message that in my administration I will not tolerate any discrimination on the basis of race, Time. gender, or sexual orientation. This next question